Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SGRXMS today with another Madden 21 video and today we're going to be talking about how to get coins right now in Madden 21. In case you guys do not know, here on the channel I give you guys a lot of no money to spend methods. Whether you need coins, training points, XP, or trophies, there are videos on the channel here to help you guys out. So if you need any help, go check out the videos. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions on what I talk about in today's video or just Madden in general, make sure you leave that comment down below and I'll answer your question as soon as possible. All right, at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about some stuff with the channel as well. All right, but we're going to get the coin stuff out of the way first. Have a couple things to talk about, a couple things I want to remind you guys about, and just some future updates as well with the game. So the first thing I want to say is uh, has to do with these NFL playoff challenges. All right, I have two things to talk about the playoff challenges. Now, first one being uh, these, these things themselves. Uh, to get the 95 overall card Let's say you don't like any of these cards they have available which by the way I think you should take them in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about as you see right here for 60 stars You get a 95 overall player that you can select uh, It's a fantasy pack obviously and if you don't like the players, which I think you should select the player uh, In my opinion, but if you don't like the player you can always just quick sell the player for training points and Spend those training points in the store and I'll show you guys what you can spend your training points on in the store uh Sometimes I do this. I like to hold on to my training points for just for powering guys up. But if you want to turn your training points into coins, uh, by all means, go ahead and do so. Don't buy this one. All right. If you're gonna buy any of them, I would honestly buy either this uh, player of the week pack or uh, this 87 plus NFL playoffs player. Do not buy this series three Redux unless you feel really, really lucky. All right, because I've seen a lot of bad stuff out of these. I've seen some good stuff, but I've seen mainly bad stuff out of these. So stick to either 87 or, yeah, stick to this one, stick to this flashbacks one, and then stick to this uh, player of the week card. Actually, though, because I think we just got 95 or 94 of our veterans, I think it was. So actually, instead of the flashbacks, maybe maybe focus more on these ones, and they're cheaper, so I don't really know how that works. So uh, that is that. So if you're looking to uh, spend your training, go ahead and do that right there. Um, also with the playoff stuff I'm gonna talk about some sets right now one thing I noticed today when that Joe Montana came out there's a Joe Montana in the game now 96 overall I think uh, which is really bad by the way um, terrible card I would not get it but one thing I noticed was this card actually doesn't cost that much to make and at the time I don't know what he's going for now but at the time he's going for about 900 K and you can see the price of these cards right here are about 300 all right, a little over 300, you could probably get them for, you know, about 300,000 coins. So, let's say you spend 300,000 coins here, all right, and you obviously have to buy this card over here, but, you know, let's say you spend about, how much do these cost? Let's say you buy, spend about 950,000 coins, all right? You're going to get that Joe Montana. You can sell the Joe Montana for 900 when it comes out, all right? You're going to lose 10% of that, so then you're going to be around a little over 800, right? But you get these three players back. Now these three players, what you should do is quick sell them. All right, quick sell them for training points, and then what you can do with those training points is go into the store and buy those packs that I just said that you should buy, because you know that's obviously some easy power for you guys. Uh, if you do that, you could probably make you can you can really only do that when the when the stuff comes out because that's when the Joe Montana or you know the hero is going to be most expensive. So when you know when those sets come out, be on the lookout to see if that is actually a way to make some profit. All you have to do is buy the three cards and obviously the other one at the end and quick sell the three cards after you complete the set because uh, you can't sell them at auction house and sell the Joe Montana on auction house and that's that. So pretty easy to do. Uh, also some stuff to refresh on here. Those are really just the two main things uh, for the video but I want to refresh you guys with some things. Obviously make sure you're doing your 500,000 coins per week criteria thing. Uh, you know basically all you have to do is play two head dead seasons per week and play, play your weekend league games. Not that difficult to do. Um, also, one thing I gotta say, make sure you are leveling up. I've made an XP video as my last video. I'll link that video probably in the comment section or the description, one of the two, so go check that out. I'm sure I'll help you guys level up. I'm, I wanna get to level 80 by the end of the weekend, so that's, that's my goal. Alright, make sure you're getting your Mutt Master stuff done as well. Uh, you get an extra 100,000 coins, uh, at the end of the, at the end of the series here, if you can just complete these four challenges right here. And you also get your Sam Mills and other upgrades, so. I would highly recommend you guys do this. Um, also, if you're okay with playing the CPU, what I'd recommend you go ahead and do is play, that rhymed, uh, go ahead and play these legend challenges right here. You get your power up cards from that. Really, really, really recommend them. Um, and one, one other thing I gotta say, if you guys have any coin making recommendations, I noticed one of you guys, I forget, who, it, may, it might have been Troy Hewitt. 
I forget who it was. One of you guys recommended a method that I have not checked out yet. It was like with DK Metcalf. You put him in sets and stuff. Um, if you have any methods, I dude, I'd love to check out the methods for you guys. And if it is good, what I'll do is I will make a video about that method. That method will be in the video, and you'll get like a special shout out for giving me that method. So if you guys have any really good coin making methods, uh, feel free to throw them my way. You can DM me on Instagram, or you can just put it in the comments down below. Because at the end of the day. Uh, the point of this channel is to make everyone better. This is not just for my benefit or your benefit. Basically, we're here to make each other better. So, you know, I hopefully, um, you know, by you giving me a method, maybe you're making another person watch this video better at the game or in a better situation. So that is that. So hopefully, you guys, that, that makes sense. Um, it's pretty much it for the video. I'm going to do my shouts of the day right now. In case you guys do not know, I do shouts in every single video. All you have to do to get shouted out is comment on this video, and I'll shout you out in the next video. All right? So here we go. All the shoutouts from the last video go to. Let me just pull them up right here. Uh, we had a few. All right, so here we go. Shoutouts from the last video: Hurlbert, uh, Hey Str, uh, XX Boy That Player X2. Y'all know Boy X2 X. Jeez, I, I completely butchered that, but you know who you are. Uh, Samuel Puente, Algen Tunser, uh, Twizzy Dawson Hunter, Kid Cave, Hunter Hawkins. That's, that's the goat right there. Troy, he was 17. And Yolkface, thank you all so much for commenting on the last video. Uh, sorry to XX boy that bro. Your your name just like no spaces. I'm sorry. I just could not pronounce it without the spaces. Hopefully I got it right. All right, but that's pretty much it. I want to say too, the uploads have been a little wild. I've just been a lot more busy than I thought I'd be. So I'm gonna try to get you know get back on top of the uploads, getting you guys like two to three coin videos a week, getting you guys one training video per week, and then you know one other video probably here and there throughout the week and uh, maybe even a stream once a week i want to stream more but i just don't have the time so uh, i'll have to figure it out i want to play fans more too i have not played one fan yet this year and the problem is i just have not had the time man so i will work on it i promise uh yeah that's that so hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like comment subscribe down below and i'll talk to y'all later stay safe for me and peace out